Five years ago, Omaha's police department had thousands of untested rape kits. Fast forward to today, and officers say they no longer have a backlog. Thanks for joining us. I'm Quinicia Fraser. I'm Bill Shimmer, and OPD says the introduction of anonymous test kits have caused that backlog to fluctuate. KETV News Watch 7 Sarah Feely joins us live in the studio to explain the progress. The Nebraska legislature passed a law in 2018 requiring Omaha and Lincoln to track and test those DNA kits with the hope of bringing cases to justice and eliminating the backlog. While OPD says they were always prosecuting, it has given them more data than years past. Really, we don't have a backlog at all. Five years into the sexual assault kit initiative and Omaha police have virtually zero untested rape kits. The number of kits that we have right now that are untested is down to 141, which is significantly down from where we started before we started the process, which was over 2000. Those 141 account for anonymous kits, something newer to the department and hospitals. We now have anonymous testing, so People can go in and they can remain anonymous and have a kit test, uh, a kit taken, but we will not test those. And unfortunately, that number will grow as crimes happen and new reports come in. The 141 that we currently have includes those anonymous kits. So as time goes on, that number will increase just because we'll, we'll accumulate some of the anonymous kits. And we have to hold on to those kits for 20 years. The Nebraska legislature's law requiring testing for those kits has brought about other changes too. The biggest thing from the initiative is, is just the being the victim um, focused and centered on the person because it's always their kit. It's their case. They say it's not leading to more prosecutions. Cases were already going to court, but it is offering data they didn't always have. As for how the backlog happened, OPD says tests were only run if it would benefit a case. Those kits were not tested because back, you know, in the early 2000s, it was new technology, so it, it was pretty pricey to test those if it was not going to be used for court purposes. Now the Sexual Assault Kit Initiative grant has allowed OPD to eliminate its backlog and it's been extended. So we can we can work kits now up from 2020 backwards to, you know, as the, the earliest kits that we have. Omaha police say another facet to the untested rape kit number is cases that are just coming into the department. They say there is some processing time between when they're received and tested, but overall they're happy with their progress and in compliance with the law. Back to you. Sarah, thank you.